Good day everyone, my name is Charles Silogi Espinosa from BS at English to B and today I'm going to discuss about servant leadership. Before we start to define what is servant leadership, let me give you a brief history about the term servant leadership. Greenleaf, born in Jerhot, Indiana, spent most of his organizational life in the field of management research, development, and education at AT&T. In 1964, Greenleaf also founded the Center for Applied Ethics, which was renamed the Robert K. Greenleaf Center in 1985 and is now headquartered in Indianapolis. Greenleaf distilled his observations in a series of essays and books on the theme of the servant as leader, the objective of which was to stimulate thought and action for building a better, more caring society. Now let's define what is servant leadership. Servant leadership emphasizes increased work service to others, a holistic approach to work, promoting a sense of community, and the sharing of power in decision making. So who is a servant leader? Greenleaf said that a servant leader is one who is a servant first. Servant leadership is a long-term, transformational approach to life and work, in essence, a way of being, that has the potential for creating positive change throughout our society. Here are some characteristics of the servant leader. A good servant leader must have good listening skills. He or she needs to have the ear in order to listen to the thoughts and emotions of the one he or she is serving or leading. A good servant leader must be emphatic to others. He needs to put himself or herself to the situation of others in order to understand their thoughts and feelings. A good servant leader must have good healing ability. When a conflict arises from within the group or within a person, he must know how to solve that situation. A good servant leader must also have awareness. Even though he or she is serving or leading a group of people, he should still know what happened, what is happening, and what may happen. Leader. A servant leader must also be good at persuasion. Whenever he or she is persuading someone, especially it is for their own good, he needs to do a good job in doing that. A servant leader must also be good at conceptualization. He or she needs to be creative in order to improve the condition of the one he is serving or leading. A servant leader must also have foresight. He needs to have clear goal in order to improve his service to the ones he is leading. A servant leader must also have stewardship. He or she should be responsible or accountable for the growth of the people he is serving and leading. Another characteristic of a servant leader is commitment to the growth of people. His clear goal should be about the growth of the people he is serving or leading. The last and the last characteristic would be building community. The servant leader should not be the one building the community. He or she should be the guide of the people in building their community. Alright, that's everything for my report. I hope everyone learned a lot and have a good day everyone.